Hey everyone, my room's a mess. Don't look at it. My hair's a mess. That's why I'm wearing this hat. Um, so it's time for another In My Mailbox. And, first of all, in case you didn't see it, on Tuesday, I was a guest on the YA Rebels YouTube channel. And that's a channel for a bunch of YA authors. And Corrine Jackson couldn't do a video this week, so I did one for her. And in the video, there's like a giveaway, so if you want to go over to YA Rebels on YouTube, go find it, and yeah, see me throw my cat across the room, it's pretty cool. Um, but anyway, we're here to see what books I got this week. And I only got four physical books, but I got like 17 ebooks this week, which is kind of ridiculous and outrageous, but good thing also, because that's cool, you know? Um... So I'll show you the physical books first. From Harlequin Teen, I got two books. Um, the first one is Soul Screamers Volume 1 by Rachel Vincent. And this has the first two books as well as the prequel novella. Um, and the prequel novella has never been in print before. So that's cool. So it's a bind up and that's what the side looks like. That's the back. Um, I don't think Harley Quintin has ever done a bind up before, so this is pretty cool. And it's like 600 pages, so that's pretty cool. Things that are 600 pages are pretty cool usually, so that means each book is like, I don't know, a few hundred pages. And then the prequel is like 70, so that's cool. Look how cool it is. It's really pretty. Look at that dress. It's a crazy dress. And also from Harlequin Teen, I got An Arc of Allegiance by Kayla Clover. And this comes out in March. And it's the second book in the Legacy trilogy. I haven't read Legacy yet, but I've heard it's really good. And I have it sitting over there. So both the books are really big, by the way. This one is 500 pages. And I think the first one is even longer. So yeah, really pretty cover, too. Harley Quintine knows how to make covers. Um, then from Harcourt Graphia, um, I got An Arc of Loss by Jackie Morse Kessler. And it comes out in March. And it is the third book in the Riders of the Apocalypse series. The first one was Hunger and the second one was Rage. And this one is a lot longer than both of those. This one's like 250 pages. I think the first two... We're both less than 200, so that's cool. Really pretty cover. It doesn't really match the other two books cover-wise, but um, it's still a good cover. I like it. And the final physical book I got this week is A Bind-Up. Um, the Zelly Wells Trilogy, which is Glimpse, Glimmer, and Glow by Stacey Wallace Benefiel. And... Um, this is a trilogy, um, all three books in one volume, it's pretty big, it's very rainbowy, um, and it's 600 pages, so each book is like 200, so, I haven't had the chance to read these yet, but I've heard the series is really good, um, Stacy is like one of the coolest people ever, I read Day of Sacrifice by her, which is, uh, short story thing. Um, she has a series of short stories called the Day of Sacrifice series and I read the first one and also designed the cover for the first one and I designed the cover for the second one which is Rebellion also. So that's really cool. Um, and look this series. This, the That series is adult and I don't know why I read that before reading her young adult books but now I have them all so I can read them. So, thank you, Stacy, and thank you, everyone who sent me books this week. Um, I'm off to watch Harry Potter, but you guys can see what ebooks I got this week. So. Phobia, panic. Phobia, panic. Oh,
quiet walls Where were you when I called? I left the same message eleven times Movies made for TV screens Played on as they bleed Their blue glow fading to black light